I think the Corps of Engineers campgrounds are quickly becoming some of my favorites. Are here at Gunter Hill Campground in Alabama and this is an Army Corps of Engineers campground and this is a really really great campground. We're out for a walk with Miss Lily and we came across this pretty little overlook. A really cool fun fact about Army Corps of Engineers campgrounds is most of them are on bodies of water and this one is no exception. Everyone that we've been at so far has been on some sort of body of water and it just makes for a much better experience in my opinion. But there are things you don't let people see. Open up and hammer down the walking down this path that we found after we left a little overlook and it basically takes us down into I don't even know what this is the woods to a little pond it's always fun to find little offshoots of trails and just kind of see where they take you when we were walking around the campground we came across some subscribers bunny and I think it's Tom bunny I'm really sorry if that's not his name, but they're from Wisconsin and they stopped to say hi and we really appreciate it. So if you guys see us out and about, please feel free to stop by, you know, hanging out at the campsite, stop by and say hi and chat with us for a while. We love to talk to you guys. So we're here in Montgomery, Alabama and we're getting ready to do one of my favorite things I love to do as a kid. We are going to the planetarium. Woo -woo. We are here at the W.A. Gale Planetarium, which is in downtown Montgomery, Alabama. Burns under my feet. Won't you have a drink with me? We, we head into town. See what it's about. Barely need a shirt, though the sun has almost set. Make the most of it. Just finished an amazing tour at the, amazing. at the W. A. Gale Planetarium, which is now run by the city of Montgomery. We got to meet the curator, director, his name is Lee Tinker. This place wasn't even open and he brought us in, gave us a, a tour, showed us a quick little show, 
and it absolutely made my day. It was cool to have a private tour. And on top of that, he gave us a private show. And on top of that, he gave us a Christmas laser light show afterwards. And uh, then took his son, telescope. his son telescope outside. And we got to look at the sun. We got to look at the sun. It was so cool. So they are planning on reopening in January. We can't thank you enough, Lee, for your kindness, for your hospitality, and for all of your knowledge. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well, good morning from Alabama. We are at Pratt Park and we are getting ready to do a quick little, it's like a mile and a half loop around this park area. There's not a whole lot of hiking trails to choose from around us. So we just figured we'd get out. The weather was great and we'll check out Prattville. Trying to get uh, Lily out for a walk if she will cooperate. She's being a little difficult today. She wants to go everywhere but where we're supposed to be going. <laughs> Looks like they are doing a little bit of construction here at the local football field. They have the bathrooms kind of all torn apart and we see a bunch of construction going on over here. So because of the construction, you can kind of see back there, this trail stops on this side. We're gonna walk around the other side and see how far we can get. Um, this is beautiful, it's right along a little creek. I bet it's just gorgeous here in the spring and the fall. So our last hike or walk was a bust. They're doing construction at the football field. Half the trail's closed. So we've come over here to the Wilderness Park and they have a four tenths of a mile bamboo trail. And it's, it looks like there's a ton of bamboo out here. So we're gonna check it out. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my day No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop It is my time mm -hmm. As Bob Ross would say There are no mistakes Just happy little accidents and I'm really glad that the other thing didn't work out because this is really cool over here. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way. The bamboo you see behind me is Henson bamboo, also known as giant gray bamboo. It averages about 40 foot tall, about three and a half inches in diameter, and it comes straight from China. It uh, is large enough to be classified as timber bamboo, um, which means it can be harvested. They don't harvest this, but it could be harvested for hardwood floors and other items that uh, bamboo is used for. I really have to say, I'm so glad that the last hike or walk didn't work out because this is kind of magical. It's really, really... I don't know it's just there's something surreal about all the really tall bamboo and the canopy that it provides and in the middle there's a little swampy lake thing and it's just it's really peaceful it's quiet and there's been like two other people here the whole time we've been here i won't slow down i'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat i'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way And I don't care if you spill coffee on me Or if the sky is gray My great uncle had bamboo in his backyard And when I was a kid And I was growing up My brother and I would go out in the backyard And we would play in what we thought was this jungle of bamboo To me as a kid It felt like the size of where we're at now Realistically it was probably 
10 feet by 10 feet maybe at the most because he lived in a suburb close to Washington DC. Man, this really brings back a lot of memories being around all this bamboo. We just finished a really cool walk in a bamboo forest. It was unexpected and really, really much cooler than I anticipated. Is it Lily approved? It's Lily approved. So this time for this day in Gunter Hill, at Gunter Hill, we are in site 11. Last time we were just one site over in site 10 and they're both really great. Um, no complaints, right on the water. It's a really nice spacing from one campsite to the next. And look, I mean, y'all, look how long these sites are. It's like 70 feet, it's crazy. This is by far one of our most favorite campgrounds. All right, y'all, it's a beautiful day here near Montgomery, Alabama. So we are gonna go hit a trail here at Gunter Hill, and we're taking Miss Lily with us so we can all get some fresh air and enjoy the sunshine today. Come on, let's go. I try to reach you, but you close your mind. So much to say, the words are hard to find. You're running out of stamina. I see it in your eyes. Let me be your light. We can reignite like fireflies. Can't sleep at night, I'll be the one that would hold you tight Whatever emptiness inside, I feel it up, make it feel alright Cause I'm never giving up up on you, cause I'm never giving up up on you So as you can see, the trail's pretty cool, it's all asphalt so far And we just came across that bridge you saw So we're gonna continue on our walk and uh, we'll give you an update on the trail condition as we move forward So we had heard that there is a bridge here that's fenced off because it's in disrepair and it has not been fixed. I think it's been this way for like a couple of years now. So we're getting ready to come up to it. We're gonna show you guys exactly what it looks like. Behind me, you can see the bridge and we, I believe that it connects the two different camping loops here at Gunter Hill. We are in the Katoma loop and the other one I think is the Antioch loop. The Antioch loop is actually closed right now, but this would have been really cool to walk across, but there's a lot of boards missing and it's obviously not safe. I think it's really cool how they have this pipe running underneath of it. Mike, my construction man says it's probably because there's utilities that run through there. He would know, me not so much. So now we've turned around, we're just coming back the exact same way that we went. And uh, in all in all, it was probably like a mile, maybe a mile and a little bit more, but I just really wanted to get out of nature and walk this path. It always intrigued me because we drive by it, it's right by the road to get out of here. And I just wanted to see where it took us. So maybe next time we come back, they'll have the bridge fixed and we can do the whole thing. Wanna be free of this heart, yeah Wanna feel your arms around me I need you more, need you here More than I would like to admit Let's forget about tomorrow, yeah so I stopped for a minute down here at the foot of the reservoir. I wanted to show you guys the boat ramp. I think you can see it there behind me. I don't know if this picture does it justice, but I was a avid bass fisherman for a long time and been to a lot of tough boat ramps, but that thing's got to be a 12 or 14% grade straight up the hill there leading from the water. So it looks like a very tough, uh, tough boat ramp. So this is typical of the back end sites here at Gunder Hill. Uh, they're all concrete pads uh, leading right up to the road. You can see the picnic table, fire pit area is usually gravel. Uh, very level, very flat, very easy to get in and out of. Should I close my eyes and never again Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every time I remember that it's over Yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind Think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. So I want to take a second and thank Mary for delivering us some homemade cookies that she made with some 
farm fresh eggs. She also brought us some of those as well. Mary, it was really great to meet you and thank you so much for stopping by. Now on to the important part, the cookie. Mmm. Mmm. Really, really good. Thanks, Mary. You're the best. Good morning from Gunter Hill Campground near Montgomery, Alabama. Today, we're going to go into Montgomery and we're going to go to the Rosa Parks Museum. I'm pretty stoked because last time we were here, we didn't get a chance to go because it was closed. And then we're going to get some pizza. Somebody's <laughs> been craving pizza, so we're going to go get some pizza. Come on with us. There was a time when I was lonely I was trying hard to get by Taking day by day But baby, then you came along I know I never felt that strong Nothing's gonna hold us down Coming to visit the Rosa Parks Museum and Library, you can park at any of the Troy University parking lots unless it says reserved or you can't park here. Um, we found some really quick and easy uh, parking right on the street. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, gang, we just finished the Rosa Parks Museum and it was, whew, it was very intense. It was tough to swallow for sure. It was very intense. Uh, if, if you're ever here near Montgomery, I highly recommend coming here. It's like $7.50 to come in. It's cheap. Yeah, it's and well it, worth the money for sure. It is, and it just makes you really think about our history. And she's for sure one of my heroes along with Dr. King. So I'm so glad that we came here today. All right, guys, we're getting ready to go try out Bib Street Pizza. It gets really good reviews, so let's go check it out. We just finished our lunch at Bib Street Pizza. It was so good. Really thin crust, delicious, crispy, and we had a white pizza, right? You took the word right out of my mouth. <laughs> if you're ever in uh, Montgomery, come try out Bib Street Pizza. Hey, my love, how are you? Did your broken part say I do by the house we left? Falling asleep in a car on a one way. Now, good morning from a very rainy Montgomery, Alabama. So, today is one of the days that I'm thankful that I spent yesterday evening pre packing and putting as much stuff away as possible. So, the only thing I had left to do this morning was to put our Starlink internet away and shore power. Uh, which was a quick raincoat shot outside and we are just about ready to roll. We are packing up and leaving Gunter Hill and headed off to our next stop. We hope you guys enjoyed both of our trips here to Gunter Hill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any episodes. Hit the notification bell so you always get notified when we have a new video that drops. And smash the like button if you don't mind. We really appreciate you guys watching. We appreciate all support and thank you guys so much for coming on to this journey with us. See you guys at the next stop. Bye! Bye. So we took Miss Lily out. No, try that again. Right here in downtown Alabama. I mean, meh. Good morning from Gunter Hill Campground. Let me get my hair out of my face. I'll turn this way here just a little bit. Right there. So we'll see you guys. No.